A soft and gentle and thoughtful answer turns away wrath, but harsh and painful and careless words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise speaks knowledge that is pleasing and acceptable, but the babbling mouth of fools spouts folly. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good in all their endeavors. A soothing tongue, speaking words that build up and encourage, is a tree of life, but a pervasive tongue, speaking words that overwhelm and depress, crushes the spirit. A flippant, arrogant fool rejects his father's instruction and correction, but he who is willing to learn and regards and keeps in mind a reprimand acquires good sense. He who oppresses the poor taunts and insults his maker, but he who is kind and merciful and gracious to the needy honors him. He who is slow to anger has great understanding and profits from his self-control. But he who is quick-tempered exposes and exalts his foolishness for all to see. In all labor there is profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The poor man is hated even by his neighbor, but those who love the rich are many. He who despises his neighbor sins against God and his fellow man. But happy, blessed, and favored by God is he who is gracious and merciful to the poor. He who withholds the rod of discipline hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines and trains him diligently and appropriately with wisdom and love. He who walks as a companion with wise men will be wise, but the companions of conceited, dull-witted fools are fools themselves and will experience harm. The soul of a lazy person craves and gets nothing, for lethargy overcomes ambition, but the soul of the diligent who works willingly is rich and abundantly supplied. The one who guards his mouth thinking before he speaks protects his life. The one who opens his lips wide and chatters without thinking comes to ruin. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down, but a good encouraging word makes it glad. The arrogant fool's anger is quickly known because he lacks self-control and common sense, but a prudent man ignores an insult. 